Hey guys, Yuli here, creator and founder of parttimebusinessbuilder.com and founding member of the Digital Experts Academy. And today I have a really quick video. I've been messing around with lights and audio and all sorts of stuff for a little, uh, little over an hour now. So I want to get down to this video before I completely run out of daylight. As you can see, I've got two feet of snow outside maybe. If you can see that or not, you might not be able to see it. But today I want to do a quick video um, regarding branding. Now, quick disclaimer, I am not the go-to guy in branding or personal branding. I do have enough experience in business and in sales to understand how important it is to know your customer. So um, real quickly in this video, I'm going to go over a couple things about branding and I hope you can stick around to watch. So give me a few seconds and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. See what I did there? A little branding. So branding is extremely important for a business or a personality in general. If you want to have anything to do with online marketing or business in general, you have to develop a brand. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably in a company that you either are more to level marketing or you're affiliate marketing for, and you've kind of developed their brand and they have their brand and they have all their funnels set up and everything that you know to do revolves around their company. And I know a lot of you that are a little bit more advanced or beyond that, and you're starting to build your personal brand. So I don't, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by thinking that you don't know what a personal brand is or uh, what a brand is or how important a brand is. Ideally, it's, it's this, just, just in case you don't know. Like if you look at now Band-Aid, Band-Aid, pretty clever, huh? So Band-Aid is the name of this video, and I'm focusing on the Band-Aid logo or brand. Now, anything that's an adhesive, um, medical tape is called a Band-Aid. It doesn't matter who makes it. I don't care if Red Bull made it. It would still be a Red Bull Band-Aid. Now, Band-Aid isn't the actual product. That's the brand. The actual product is a brand adhesive bandage. And there's a million companies that make that, but you know Band-Aid as Band-Aid. A couple other ones that you might know just right off the cuff is, oh, just went by one. Get back here. It's Coca-Cola. Now, obviously you know who Coca-Cola is. The whole world knows who Coca-Cola is. You don't even have to show the can of Coke to know who Coca-Cola is. Half of the southern half of uh, the United States calls everything a Coke. It's uh, a cherry Coke or a, an orange Coke or a purple Coke or a Mountain Dew Coke or a Sprite Coke. Everything's a Coke. And it's obvious there's no competition as far as branding who's got the better brand of the two biggest brands, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Obviously, Coca-Cola's got the bigger brand. Whichever what tastes better, that's, that's a matter of preference. Another big one is that you all, I'm sure, know, especially if you're into the online world, is even if you're not, is Google. Now, Google is just, I mean, you, you don't even know what it is based on the, the word. At least Coca-Cola, it's a cola, it's a drink. Google, you could say Google 10 years ago and, you know, half the people be like, what, what? I don't know, 10 years ago, that might be a little. 20 years ago, and what's a Google? Nobody had any idea what a Google is. But now just from that brand alone, you know exactly what a Google is. It's the biggest search engine in the world. It's a multi-billion dollar technical giant. So you know exactly what Google is, and that's branding. Another one is Q-tips. Now, these are sticks with cotton swabs at the end of them. You use them every day, hopefully. Unless, then you probably can't hear me if you don't. So you should use them every day. But it doesn't matter who makes them. There's a ton of lower-end companies that make them and you know all sorts of other companies that make them, but you still call it a Q-tip. I don't care who you are. So Q-tips is another great brand. For you guys on the other side of the pond, Sir uh, Richard Branson, the, I guess, branding king of the world. This guy brands everything. I mean, he, he went his whole organization, his whole group, everything that he does is everything that's virgin is his brand. And you know exactly who he is. So that's a fantastic brand. And that's exactly what a brand is supposed to do for your company and for you personally. Now, not only are companies brandable, and this is kind of what I want to get into today really quickly, but people are brandable. Like, celebrities brand themselves every day. They brand their own name. Like, if you're from the U.S., you might know him from overseas, if you're overseas, but he's particularly a U.S. celebrity. Um, it's because he's radio and stuff like that and satellite radio. But that's Howard Stern. He's the, I guess, the king of shock radio, the king of all media. He's done it all. You can ask... There, there could be 10 million Howard Sterns in the world, and you can even ask one of their brothers who Howard Stern is, and they'll say him, not their brother. So that's another one that you might, another one that's more known, probably globally, um, is uh, 
Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart is the, I guess I don't even know what her brand is designed to do. She, she all sorts of home stuff and little knickknacks and stuff like that. that's what she does. But you know the name Martha Stewart. I know the name. I know her picture and I kind of know what she does, but I don't really know. I don't think that's important. The important thing is, is that I know exactly who she is. Another great one and probably the most well-known personal brand is Mr. Donald Trump. Trump has everything named after him. Underwear, buildings, casinos, golf courses, vodkas. Uh, I, I mean, I can go on and on, but Donald Trump has branded his name to a T. He's the epitome and the exact model that uh, personal branding is all about. Now, not only are celebrities and business people, uh, well, they're all business people, but celebrities and yourself, but athletes do it a lot. Like, everyone knows who that is. That's Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan was a basketball player, but he could do anything and be recognized all over the world. And that's a great thing about personal branding because he knew that beyond basketball, he still had a life. So um, that's probably the, the biggest international brand name athlete I can think of to use in this uh, slide. So, and, and there, this guy is amazing. Have you guys seen this guy? He's everywhere. That, that's me. Part-time business build, builder. But that's the point to be braiding yourself and getting your name out there. And like I was getting to before, a lot of people in this environment, in our digital economy, are branded by the company that they affiliate for or work for or whatever they do for that company. That's their branding. They use their funnels, their landing pages, their bonuses, their videos. So they're really concentrating on branding their company, which is great when you're starting because you want to get the cash flow going and you want to do exactly what they say to do. And they've got it down. But when you get to that point where you're just, you know, you know that you can do it. You know that you could start being involved in your own videos like this one. You could do this. Who can't do this? I mean, everyone's got this. Actually, I'm going to show you how high tech my little studio is once I get done with this video. So anybody could do this and I'm branding myself because I know beyond whatever company I work for, whatever product I affiliate, beyond that, there's me. Like, let me tell you a story. Well, it's not really a story, but a, an example. In my non-digital world, I'm a salesman in the construction industry. And if, and if you guys have followed me, you know that. Now, I can say that I'm a salesman for company ABC all day long. So I work for them. I've been working with them for a long time. This is what I do. This is who I am. But if I decided to move to a different state and I needed to come up with a different industry and then go into that world, I would have to start all over again because I never branded myself. I never did anything to differentiate myself from all the other salespeople in the company. So like if you're an ML, uh, MLM company or your affiliate, say the Six Figure Mentors like I am, Beyond those companies, if, if those companies ever fail, which, you know, God forbid, but if those companies ever fail, you need to be building your personal brand. So whatever you move, most of your customers, if it's a congruent niche, most of your customers move with you because it's you they want. It's not the company. It's not the product. It's you. Hopefully it's you. You know, the product is a bonus, but you're the one who is branded yourself as the authority and you've branded your company as the company to go to in certain, for certain products, certain in a certain niche. So that's really the important part that I'm trying to get to is that once you get to that point in your business, multi-level marketing, online marketing, where you can go beyond your product or beyond your company, that's going to help you grow your business tenfold because your brand is your personality and your company brand is your company's personality. So when you take your personality and you add it to your company's personality, amazing things happen. So that's really the important key, the important takeaway I want to take here, take away that I want you to take away from here, I guess that's the right way to say it, is how important it is for your customers to know who exactly who you are, what your personality is, where you're from, your story, all that is part of your brand. And all that is what's going to grow your business and get you exactly where you want to go. So I wanted to keep this really short and really quick, but I just wanted to let you know that once you get past that point in your business where you have the branding funnel of that business going, Start branching out, do whatever you need to do to brand yourself. The number one thing to do, however, is a point I wanted to bring up, is go on 
go on one of these hosting sites and buy your name. Buy the domain of your name. If your name is John Doe, John, John Doe.com, John Doe.net, John hyphen Doe, buy those domains. You know, you can probably, every combination of your name, .com, .net, .biz, .me, um, it's probably going to run you about 100 bucks. You don't have to host them all. Just, just get them. So when people search your name, they're going to find you. Link those, backlink those, or forward those to anywhere you are, where your hub is, where your money page, or wherever you want people to know you, your About Me page. But you want to make sure that at least that your name comes up, um, <laughs> someone can find you on Google. And that's easy for me to say. Uh, I have a very um, easy name to find, I guess you could say. All right, guys, that's all I have today. Again, my name is Yuli, parttimebusinessbuilder.com. If there's anything about this video you liked um, or didn't like, please leave a comment below. Um, subscribe to our page on YouTube. Find us on Facebook. Find us on Twitter. Uh, my website, parttimebusinessbuilder.com. Find it there and uh, check out our other stuff. So Again, thanks, guys. Uh, it's been a great day for me. I got through all the techie stuff. Hopefully the, the lighting held up and the daylight held up, and I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. It's somewhere on this page, up around here somewhere. Oh, and I, I forgot. I was going to show you my high tech. So I want to show you that anybody can do this. First of all, this is just airplane from my uh, Apple TV from my laptop to here. But I wanted to show you my high tech studio. Um, so in case all you guys who are like, oh, I can't make a video because I don't have all the technology that all these other guys have. This, you know, the lighting's crappy here. Oh, I don't know what happened there. But uh, so you can see, as you can see, it's not all perfect. So um, there's my laptop right there. Uh, there's my tripod right there. There's my microphone. And basically that's my, uh, my high tech studio. So if you're not impressed by that, I don't know what's gonna impress you guys. All right, again, usually parttimebusinessbuilder.com. If I can do it, you can do it. Start part-time. Hey, I did. I'm doing it. I have a full-time job just like you do, uh, but it's a lot better than getting a part-time job. Get a part-time business. All right, guys, if you need any more help, just contact me. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.